Hello everybody, what's up? How are we all doing today? We are here with the a couple of the new products that just came out. This is, I, I wouldn't call it a second wave, I just call it, well okay. It's another wave of new 151 related products, that's for sure. Um, one, the ETB is not new, I just have it with me because we're going to open this baby too. But yeah, we have right here the Ultra Premium Collection which can barely fit on the camera. So that's fun. There's this thing and we also have... Uh, one of these two-pack tins. I think these are pretty cool, honestly. I'm usually not big on, like, the two-pack tins, but I do actually like the art that they have for this set. Thinking maybe I'll actually end up buying all of them to complete the picture. I don't know yet. We'll see. But I do like the pictures and stuff for it and, and for this one. So, uh, bear in mind, here we go. We're going to be opening these as quickly as possible best I can. I don't know what happened to my exacto knife, so we're just going to be using a scissor now to open all this stuff. So we're gonna, I'm going to open all this stuff that is like new, and we're just going to like rush to the ETB, because you guys have already seen the ETB, right? I'm not, I don't have to explain what it is. That ETB that right over there is just a regular one, though, that you can get in retail. It's not the... Ooh! Ooh! Oh! A dark kind. Ooh! I wonder if you get different... Do you get different, like, I guess you get different types of coins, depending on which, uh, which, uh, you know, you get. Oh, that's cool. I do like the full image, just this one. Look at this thing. That's awesome. Makes a full image, as you can see. So collect them all and you make a full image. All right, and here we got two packs in here. It's just two packs. So my understanding also, I think these tins are like the next best thing to buy if you can't get a booster bundle when it comes to value, I guess, if you're just looking for packs. I know it's just two, but at the but apparently it's a little bit better of a deal if you do that one, so just figure I pass that along. Alright, here we go with the Ultra Premium Collection. This thing is awesome. It's like uh, it's just like the other premium collections of the past. We had like uh, there was the there was the celebration ones. Uh, there was also the Charizard one, so this is probably going to be in the same vein of anything. There is a metal card in this particular Ultra Premium, so this will be fun. This will be my first metal card I've ever kept, uh, or, well, you know, yeah, own, because I, I was too late to get the Charizard Pikachu celebration or whatever that one was, and then also... Uh, the Charizard never came with metal cards. It came with three promo cards, so that was cool. And I believe also GameStop had their own version of a premium collection, which was Arceus, and it came with Arceus metal cards, which I don't feel like spending the amount of money it's asking for. I don't think it's worth the value that it's, they're asking for, so I never got that one. Anyway, let's see if I can get this whole thing in the picture. Goodbye, um... <laughs> goodbye, ETB. I'm sorry, ETB. I just want to get the new stuff and want to look at these really quickly, so... Alright, here we go. Let's see what we can do. Alright, uh, this is not opening yet. Hold on. Okay, this is one of those... Ooh! Oh, I see. Okay, okay. This is one of those, like, slide-in ones that you have to get out. It's just like an ETB. There's a top layer and then there's a bottom layer. But I do like how it's set up where, like, there's an outline of Mew on this. That's cool. Alright. Here's stuff in the back if you want to see what comes with it. There's a lot of stuff in this. There's like 16 booster packs. There's a play mat. There's so these two cards are now promos. Uh, I think at some point I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Japanese one just so we can have a fun comparison between them. So we'll see. All right, there's a ton of stuff in it. We're gonna see them all. So I'm not gonna leave it on the screen for very long. We're we're just gonna see it all. Ooh, oh, sorry. Look at this. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Ooh, I can't, I can't even open it all the way. So, I think this pops out, actually. Yeah, you can just pull this out. So, we're gonna look at the contents in a moment, but here are the promo cards. Uh, they seem okay. They survive. Well, this Mewtwo is slipping out, so I guess I'll just help it out. This Mewtwo is slipping out. <laughs> Uh, they all look okay, though. Like, nothing is damaged, at least, from the looks from what I can see, so... Uh, I don't think I want to try and gamble trying to get this pulled out. Well, uh, maybe I can. Maybe I can. So, I think... Ooh, we gotta be real careful with that. Okay, well, we got this corner open pulled out, so might as well just try to get the rest of it without damaging the card. Oh my god, this is... Don't do this at home, kids. I'm trying very hard. Okay, okay, there we go. Woo! Wow. Eh, it's 
it's not too bad in English. I feel like the color's a little bit more darker on the chat in English one. Maybe I'm wrong. I might be imagining it. We'll see. All right. Yeah, it's a little off centered, but that's all right. So we got. I'm gonna. Put, I'll put this here. All right. So we got these two, and then the metal card in the middle. Which uh, how do I even try and get this thing out? Okay, we got corner open again. Oh, I I don't want to ruin the packaging, you know. If I can't, oh, there we go. It's just going to go from the top then. There we go. Wow. So, that's cool. I don't even know what to do with this thing. I'm just like, dang, it's, it sure is a, a heavy piece of card. Uh, I don't know what to do with it, but uh, let, me just, uh, let me just put it in a sleeve, I guess. So I don't like keep putting fingerprints on it or something. There we go. Alright, so here we go. The three, the three different promos. Uh, well, I will, we will pull out the Japanese one to take a look at them later on. All right now, we're just going to continue to look at the contents. I can't believe I managed to pull these out without damaging too much of it, thankfully, so. All right, here's the rest of the stuff. We got coins, we got damage, oh, these dices are cute. Oh, this is a good dice set. Oh, I love it. I love it. All right, we like, we like these. Cool. Oh, this this coin is great too. Look at that. That's a nice coin. I definitely want to keep it. Too bad we don't really use dices very much. I mean, not coins very much in like uh, modern Pokemon. So, uh, cause you know, di uh, dice the. Oh, this doesn't even come with like a big dice. Oh, this opportunity. What the heck? Why is there no big dice? That's a disappointment right there. Um, this one has. Oh, there's a little deck box too. Cute. All right, so that's a deck box. And then here's the playmat, just nicely rolled up. I know it's the week, I don't have it on the screen. This is the playmat. Uh, I'm gonna keep it rolled up for now. Uh, it, you've already seen the image of it, but I kinda wanna keep this rolled up for now. Cause, uh, yeah, it's kind of a pain to figure out where to put it later. So I'm just gonna keep it rolled up for now. Sorry about that. Uh, and we will go ahead and pull out these packs. So we can get ready to open them in a moment. Alright, there's freaking 16 packs. Holy shit. Okay. This box is really cool, though. This is definitely a nice storage box. I'll give you that. Like, you can definitely store some stuff in here. Like, I might use this to store a lot of my, like, uh, extra sleeves and, like, dices I'm keeping. Because, yeah, I know I open a lot of stuff, but there are some things I like to keep. Sometimes I like the designs of the dices and stuff like that, which by the way, I think I'll probably go ahead and do that I'm gonna put these back in here for now Because we don't need them right now. I'm just gonna put them to the side. Oh, I should put this tin to the in here too. Why not? We'll put these tins in here Because right. we're here for the packs. That's what we're here for Okie dokie ah, All right and now we have the ETB, which I'm just going to go through kind of quickly. Because that this ETB is not a new thing. It's just I wanted to get the ETP for this particular opening. Because why not? Alright. Let's see. What we can get out of this one. So in the retail version, there are 9 packs instead of 11. You don't get the promo with the stamp on it. Uh, I'm kind of surprised the this one only came with... The, um, nine packs instead of like ten like crown zenith did and i think shiny face was the same way too so kind of odd i was expecting ten packs for like a special set anyway so this is the guide um i don't know also why it is suddenly paper and it's actually a lot small it's a little smaller than the other player guidebooks like not like little thick you know how many pages in it it's just smaller i don't know let me see if i can get a book in a comparison because like i'm a Oh, maybe it's the same size. No, never mind. It is the same size. Maybe I'm just imagining things then. I don't know. But for some reason, they went to just flat out paper instead of glossy. You see how, like, this is kind of glossy, right? This is pretty glossy paper right here. This is just flat out matted paper. It's just... I don't know why they went that way with this set. It feels, it feels kind of cheap. But if that's what they wanted to do, apparently. Oh, also, fun tip. I don't know why it's just particularly this set. Sometimes the packs will get stuck in here, um, and it's and I found this was a common issue with the 151 ETBs at least. Uh, there we are okay. We got them out. 
So we'll pull these out. Oh boy. Yeah, so this will be like the last 151 packs I'll be opening, at least on screen. I don't think I'm gonna be opening anymore just because like it comes a point. You just it's better just to go out and buy the singles, you know? And I think this is the amount of stuff I've opened so far of 151 is like eh. Uh some more dices. I uh, not crazy about these color dices, honestly. Um, and here's the code card. I already have one of these somewhere hiding away, so you may take that. Uh, the, um, and here's the promo. <laughs> Sleepy. Once again, this is actually from the booster box, like the actual set itself. They just turned it into a promo. Uh, and then a brick of energy, which we don't care about. Uh, and then the sleeves. We're gonna put these into the big box now, because I don't, I wanna keep them. Okay, we got those. All right, so that's it. That's the ETB. Like I said, nothing too crazy. Uh, once again, we've already opened. Well, not, uh, we haven't opened on here yet, but ETBs have been around for since the first wave of 151 products. So it is not something we're going to like sit around and look into very much. So, oh, hey, I, do I even have enough time to do an, like a full on recording? Do I have to like actually... I think I might have to actually, like, pause the video for a second so I make sure I have enough time to, like, open the packs. We're gonna go pretty quickly through the packs, too, just because it is... We've opened one by one already, so we're just gonna go through and see what we can get. So, I think that's the plan. So, alright, so give me just one minute to reset this up and put these over here for now to start. Nice set of packs. Here we go. This is like an even... Is it almost an even number? Yeah, it's pretty close. All right, here we go. We're gonna do a stack of four with these. There we go. All right, I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, we're back. Cleaned out the player, the players, the board for a little bit. So now all we got are these beautiful packs to go through. I'm gonna have to zoom in the camera just a little bit now because we are now actually looking at packs for this. Uh, so we have 16 plus nine plus two. So we got like 16 plus 11. That's what like. Uh, 27 packs here sitting, I think. And I'm bad at math right now. It's kind of early in the morning. I'm not really feeling up to it. I'm just here to open packs. So let's see what we can get from these last packs we're going to be opening. Alright, y'all can have some code cards because I'm cool not keeping these. Here you go. I think I have plenty of 151 code cards at this point. No holo, no, ho no holo. Sadness. All right, we're just going to go through really quick, just going to shuffle through these just because, you know, it's been out for a while. At this point, we're just going to see if we can get any good pulls out of it. Uh, okay, for a minute there, I was just like, wait, what happened to the, uh, what happened to all the reverse hollows? Uh, we're going to put this over here, actually. I have a trash bin nearby me now. Isn't that exciting? I'm still looking for a couple of cards from this set. I actually pulled the Venusaur Illustration Rare uh, a while ago. That's somewhere between this video and the last, basically. Oh, here we go. Got a Hollow Fire Energy. That's cool. And now I'm missing uh, literally the final. I am missing... I have Squirtle and I have Wartortle and I have Charmander and Charmeleon. I'm literally missing the Blastoise and the Charizard. So I'm just like, great. One of those being super expensive if I don't get... Oh, we got something. We got something. What is it, baby? What is it? Is it the Venusaur again? Oh my god, it's the Venusaur again. Oh, it's so gorgeous though. Okay, no lie, it is a very pretty card though. Holy crap, look at that. Venusaur is so gorgeous. Anything behind it? Nope. Uh, speaking of Venusaur, I got it again. Anyway, one of, I'm pretty sure Blastoise and Venus uh, and Charizard, Charizard being the most expensive of the three to get right now, but honestly, look at this thing. Like, this thing will go up in value in the future. I'm just gonna say it right now, just, look, it's so gorgeous. The whole line is gorgeous. I just need Bulbasaur, though. That's the funny thing. It's like, oh, cool, I got a Venusaur. I actually need a Bulbasaur, though. Like, cause, like, I'm literally just missing one of each in each line right now, so... I would love to get Dragonair. I have still not gotten Giovanni's Charisma. Like, I I don't know. I don't think Giovanni's Charisma is real anymore at this point. His Charisma is not, um, in, it's not spreading to me at all or to my cards. I'm just a regular energy. All right, here we go. Oh, I accidentally pulled too far, but that's okay. It doesn't look like we got anything in this one. Yeah. All right, I'll do my, I'll do better at that. 
it, the cards are just kind of stuck, you know? And like, I've, especially if you get an EX, they get stuck kind of. Like, if you are, you're, if the cards in the back get stuck, then you know you've definitely got like an EX or something at least, because they're they're kind of stuck. They sticky a little. They stick a little. Not to say they're actually sticky, but they do get stuck on each other. Hey, psychic hollow energy. All right, let's try to do this better. Yeah, this, this, this will work. All right, we're just gonna go through this relatively quickly. Here's a reverse hollow, reverse hollow, and a chancy. All right, cool. All uh, how is everyone feeling about the pull rates if you've been opening the set? I feel like the pull rates are kind of tough with this set, in my opinion. Uh, compared to, like, Crown Zenith, the last special set, I feel like it's a little harder to get, like, anything in these, in this set. Alright, that no, doesn't matter. I'm just pulling... Oops! Krabby, no! We're just pulling everything along the way like this. Oh, Chansey. Seedra, and Gengar. Okay, nothing there. But yeah, it does feel like... I don't, I mean... I even, even that recording back then, I feel like, I, I got lucky with those, I think, honestly, in my opinion, but I feel like ever since then, it's been pretty tough to, like, get anything from these, and, uh, I don't know how you guys have been doing if you guys have been opening packs for these, so. I've also never gotten a god pack, even off screen, because usually, I like to joke, usually I get all the better pulls when I'm not recording, but, uh, I actually didn't get, like, super crazy stuff. Besides that Venusaur, I guess. Oh, we got the Kabutops and the Kabuto combo. Ayy. Let's go. Alright, here we go. Alright, I'm just gonna keep on going. What cards are you guys looking for? This is pretty much the last... As far as I know, there aren't any other 151 related products they're releasing, so like... Right now, this is what we all have. I don't know how you guys have been doing, if you guys have been getting into this set too. I really do enjoy this set. Uh, I was actually, for a, mo for, for a moment, considered making a master set with the English set, but uh, I decided just against it, just because, like, eh, it's, it's cool, but I'm not, like, super crazy about making uh, master sets anyway. I just buy, I just collect the cards that I want, which, you know, if that were the case, I should have just buy singles instead of opening packs, but I, I enjoy actually opening packs itself so like this is a this is a fun thing for me to do so you know i don't mind spending a little whoop, water energy i don't mind spending the money to open packs because this is something i like to do it's just more fun for that and i, I get it you know like everyone will tell you to buy singles because it's just cheaper and it is it's that's just at the end of the day it really will be cheaper to just buy the singles but like it's just more fun to open stuff yeah, we, we, whew. I don't know how many packs we've gone through at this point, but we've only gotten the Venusaur. I don't know, man. I feel like the pull rates are pretty, oof, rough. Again, but they are loose, there are loose packs instead of, like, a, a guaranteed booster box kind of setup, so. I guess if you really want to try and get something and guarantee it, you could always just do the Japanese set because it is a booster box. You're guaranteed at least like an, one SR or, uh, you know, the higher. Ooh. Oh, War it's a War Turtle. Squirtle! Why did I say War Turtle? Squirtle. I'm getting all the cards that I already have. No. Like, this is cool. I love it. But these are cards I already have. All right. Put that there. How does this, uh, how is this Venusaur? Whoa. Actually, it's pretty well centered. Uh, there's nothing on here, I hope. I hope. Is that is that, is that part of the thing? Please let it not be part of the thing. It's, it's just a sleeve. <gasps> no way! Oh my god. There are scratches already on this card. Oh. Otherwise, a very nice card. Oh my god. This is a well-centered card. And there are scratches and stuff on it. Oh my god. Right out of the box. Jesus, English English quality, man, guys. English quality. Like, the best I can get with that Venus store if I grade it is a 9 at this point because it is. there's scratches, there are white marks on it, and I definitely don't remember putting those there. Those were just there when I pulled them. Oh, my God. Uh, English quality, guys. 
Caterpie, Eevee, Baytree Bell, that big air balloon, Primeape, Porygon, Machoke, and Dodrio. It's like, hey, we're getting like nice stuff at least. I'm like, we haven't gotten an EX yet, so that's cool. I'll take those. But these are also cards I already have, so. <laughs> Alright, here we go. And nothing here. And here we go. I'm just trying to like not. Because here's the thing if there was a god pack, then the reverse hollow would be different. And we're trying, I'm trying to see if I can make sure I pull at least a decent amount of the bulk. While also not revealing what is the, what is the reverse hollow, because you know you never you never know. There's always a chance. There. Here. Okay. Let's see. All right, first phase. We're just gonna go through all these extra parts. All right, we got to the Abra. Oh, oh, oh my God. What is it? Oh, Psychic Energy Gold! Alright, alright, we take those. I think there's one more gold in this set. I think it's Switch? So now we got one of each gold so far. Well, almost. We, we still need the, uh... We still need the Switch Gold Energy. Alright. Okay. Again, it isn't very much, but I haven't got a single EX. Like, a regular EX card. And we take those. Unless it's a Charizard, because I do need a Charizard for a deck, so... Well, I guess I do need more Blastoise, too. I only have, like, ooh, Electric Hollow. I only have, like, one Blastoise, and I think their Blastoise works really well in a Chen Pao deck. So I want to get more, uh... <gasps> oh, another Erica's Invitation? No way. Okay, okay, okay. I can complain all I want, but, like, oh, I still want the illustration. The illustration would still be cool. But this is gorgeous. I can, I will continue to state that this is a very gorgeous card. I completely understand why you guys want this. Also, like, Raging Surf already has come out, and I believe Parasol Lady is the chase in that one, technically. She's the chase waifu. It is a gorgeous piece of art, though. But I've seen that Parasol Lady art, and it's pretty gorgeous. Like, imagine the hollow quality on that in a Japanese in the Japanese version. Like, oh, oh, nope. I keep getting Erica's invitation, though, and I'm sitting here like, but where's the Giovanni? I want the Giovanni. Overall, not not crazy like bad pulls, but it could definitely be better. And a hollow energy. Oh, I'm getting a lot of hollow energy with this this batch of uh, 151. Though I will give you that. Okay, just trying to go through this as quickly as possible. We have protective goggles and well, I spoke too soon. There's the I'm just getting Venusaurs today, huh? I got, a, I got the Venusaur illustration, and now I have the Venusaur EX, so what, what we need now is the Venusaur full art, and we'll have the whole set. Unfortunately, Venusaur is not great in playability. <laughs> it's kind of unfortunate. Uh, it heals damage, and then, like... Well, I mean, the effect's pretty nice, but I think, like, being at stage 2, like, it's not the most effective grass Pokemon, but hey, who thought do I know? I just know not a lot of people are really using Venusaur. Right now, I think only Charizard and Blastoise to an extent with Blastoise is being utilized, and yeah, that's about it. Um, oh, there, well, now I need a Blastoise! Man, I spoke too soon. Here comes all the EXs now. Alright, well, I got a Charizard. And I do need it for the decks, so hey, we take those. This is not a bad, not a bad haul so far. Unfortunately, it's just they're just not cards I'm looking for myself. So I might end up seeing if I can trade that Venusaur away to try to get a uh, a Charizard. Well, not Charizard, probably Blastoise. Blastoise is just around the same price range as Venusaur right now. It's just Charizard that's just freaking expensive because Charizard tax, you know. Everybody wants Charizard. Me over here, like I just want to finish my like set. 
Oh my god, we're getting all the EXs now. I spoke way too soon. I I have uh, I have I have become the boo boo joker at this point because I have I am now the clown. I am now getting all the EXs and it's a freaking jinx. I just man It's not a good feeling when you get the jinx. I think I pulled that like three times now. We still have a small handful of packs though, so got a bit to go through still. Alright, and here we go, and there's nothing there, and here we go. Nope, 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 and nope. Put those there, put that here. Looks like we've got about two, four, six, we have eight packs all together right now. So still a ways to go. Honestly, still not a bad haul, all things considered. Like, pull, pull, pull size, pull weight rise, it's been good. It's just dupes, unfortunately, that's all. Which is, you know, not the worst thing. There you go. Nothing there. And next one we go. Nothing here. Okay. We're getting quite a bit of, like, a reverse hall energy, though. This is, I feel like this is more than I've gotten last time, so... Didn't see anything, so ah, uh, come on! I just want regular, not regular. I want Giovanni's charisma, but before, oh, come on! You just gonna keep getting Erica's, which, from an investor's point of view, that should be the good thing, isn't it? Ha 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 ha! But I really don't care for it, like much. It is pretty. I just like it's one of those. Th it's Erica's one of those cards. Like if I get it, I guess I'll keep it. You know. Another reverse, another Cosmo Energy. Apparently there's two different kind of energies you could get from these. It's not just the Cosmo Energy. It's also like you can get the modern version of the Hollow in this. I have not, I have not taken a good look at these swirly cards yet. But you can kind of tell if it's a modern or like a, an older one. Just depending on how uh, the swirl is in it. Like I think the more current ones have... Uh, like, it's a very prominent swirl, like, there's, like, lines in the swirl itself, so, like, it's a nice clear swirl, and while this one is just, like, little padding dots and stuff, like, from the old, old-style swirls, basically. Nope. Mm, nothing here. I'm never getting stuff that I could use, though. Rigid Band is pretty nice, actually. We'll take those. We're down to five packs, guys. Nope. I don't see anything in this one either. Oh, oof, oof. Okay. If anything, just hoping the last pack, there will be some last pack magic. What the heck? There's a, this is a slightly yellower pack. I don't think the camera can pick it up, but I don't know. This one looks whiter, and this one looks a little paler. A little yellowish. Don't know what's up with that. Maybe it's the maybe I should save that one for last. Because the other ones are nice and white. And that one is just yellow. I'm not sure if that means anything. But why not? We'll save that one for last. Yeah, just give me some last pack magic and we'll be Gucci. Alright, I don't see any it looks like there's nothing in this one, so nope. Put that there. Okay. Down to three. These packs feel also these packs feel like you know how like Scarlet and Violet packs lately have been kind of thick. The wrapper, these are kind of thin. They're like, they feel like the older, older style packs, like the Sword and Shield era stuff. They're not as thick as like the mainline stuff. Nope. Nothing there. And we have nope, a regular energy. I see it just a reverse hall, a regular hollow, and a regular hollow. Oof. All right, last pack magic, guys. This will be the last one five one pack you'll be seeing on screen of me opening. I think at this point I'll just have to put throw in the towel and just you know grab the stuff I'm still missing. Unfortunately, one of those being Charizard, and I'm just like oh, I don't want to spend that much for it. All right, and regular energy, and well, I guess we will do this the normal way. 
Let's just uh, let's just go through this like a like a normal person on on, on recording on a video would. Right on, rigid band, Nidorino, dome fossil, Paris, and a needle. Ah, oh, we didn't get the single. We didn't get. The pack magic. It didn't happen. Unfortunate. Alright. Not super bad of a pull, though. We got three EXs. Got a ton of energies this time around. Holy crap. And once again, these are not terribly bad pulls for, like, 27 packs. Like, getting Erica the gold and a Venusaur is technically very good. But once again, these are cards I technically already have. So unfortunately, nothing is going into the binder this time around. So, <laughs> oh man, this is pain though. I feel like, yeah, like I said, I feel like the pull rates for this set is not super... It's it's super rough, I feel like, in this case. But hey, and it's funny too, because it's like a smaller set. So in theory, you should be like having a slightly easy time to get the stuff you want, because it's not, like, there's not as many, like cards to work to work with but hey who what do i know anyway these are all the pools we got thank you all for sitting in to watch me go through opening these oh right here we go i forgot so here we go here is the english and japanese one you actually can definitely tell when i reflected here that the hollow on the japanese one is definitely more prominent for sure oh gorgeous cards very gorgeous cards though but yeah there you go Alright, we have opened a ton of things today. That is the last of my 151 content. Uh, next thing that we'll probably be opening will be Paradox Rift, which will be quite some time from now, obviously. But I thank you all for watching me uh, open these lovely packs. I'll see you guys in the next video.